Leading up to World Oceans Day, scientists have created a robotic system to find super algae which will help fight climate change. Super algae are tiny aquatic plants which remove carbon from the atmosphere up to 40 times faster than trees. Our next report getting you more. The robot, known as the algae phenotyping system, scans samples of algae and analyzes their properties with its pre-programmed robotic arm. What this robot here does behind us is it does the work of 20 scientists in a single year. It enables us to accelerate discovery, it enables us to reduce the costs of operations, and most importantly, it shifts the scientist's focus from doing low-level type work to high-level creative scientific work the automated system runs on a rail, which allows the robot to move back and forth between different stations. Each station has its own unique responsibility, with one of them known as the algae hotel, which provides the right conditions for the algae to grow. The robotic arm, much like the human would previously, accesses that hotel, pulls out a particular sample of algae, and then moves them to different stations for analysis. We have different imaging technologies, which allow the system to see things that human eyes cannot see. It allows us to then capture that data and push it through various software packages, and the software packages allow the scientists to do in-depth analysis, comparison studies, etc., etc. Biologists are planning to use the super algae as raw material for production in textiles and food industry, which would reduce global carbon emissions. In order to use it for production, Scientists have to identify the right strain of algae among 300,000 different species. Once the correct strain is found, it can be used to harvest more of the same type. So essentially what we have to do is once we've found the algae, we find the elite strain, we work out its environmental conditions to grow, we grow it en masse, we do some form of green chemistry extraction to take out the products that we need, and then we transform those, those products into plastics, let's say. But one of the really important things to do is make sure we've got zero waste. Last month, scientists recorded the highest daily concentration of atmospheric carbon dioxide at 421 parts per million. Bureau Report, We On, Wild is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.